Right folks, and welcome to part two of the Irish Wrestling Awards 2023. We had to split it into two because it's really long, 10 awards to get through. Make it a bit more digestible and split it up. If you think that this was part one, what are you doing here? It's not, it's part two. Go and watch part one, then come back. So five awards down, five more to come this one, including the big one, Irish Wrestler of the Year 2023. Who's it gonna be? Only one way to find out. Keep watching, enjoy. Our next category, uh, one of the harder ones for me, um, Tag Team of the Year. Woo! Woo! Exceptionally strong category. Yeah. Um, a lot of great teams. And this one really took me a bit of time to really decide who I actually wanted to pick because I think that everyone's a deserved winner, but I just couldn't. It took me so long to pick that one. You know, I, was, I kept tossing back and forth, but... um. Our nominee is uh, BDE, uh, the Freshness slash Los Mobadores, because they were Los Mobadores for six months of the year that we didn't uh, know yeah. about. Um, the Saviors, of, the Saviors of Destiny, last year's winner. Liz Shock there, she's only finding out oh, now that Los Mobadores. Shocked was and saddened. Um, yeah, our 2022 winner is the Saviors of Destiny, going back trying to get the crown for a second mm -hmm. time. The Social Elite. Um, who are champions in two promotions at the moment? I moment. know. Absolutely smashing it. The Step Hermanos, the 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 newer guys on the scene, um, who just seem to be they have that different maker. They they have that like yeah. kind of funny thing going on as well. So, um, and then the gals, which has changed a bit throughout the year as well, bringing in different members or new members or switching up but um yeah very very strong category here um in the tag team is there anyone there jerry that can uh pip the saviors of destiny this year um probably social elite for me uh i know 2024 has started out very strong for them but I, yeah i think throughout the whole 2023 they were you know working their way up Going through a lot of people in the rosters, you know, on whatever promotions they were working for, like, and you know, when they got together, like, it was we were trying to figure out is it just a way of getting bullet over, like, you know, mm -hmm. looked like you know, maybe he was going to be the standout one, and Sean was going to be there to try and maybe push him on as a single star. Yeah, and that's fair. Yeah, yeah. And that, uh, I can't remember what show it was. Max, Max had taken the Janetti role essentially. <laughs> No, not Janetti, like we're just being a you know, a, a you know, guiding guidance yeah, for him because yeah. you know, has experience like, and then and I know I can't remember what show it was if Matthew stepped in to somebody it was, was the tag the tag team tournament, was it? No, it was the singles tournament when uh, singles. Sean Sean got injured again and said yeah. oh, okay Jay. Yeah. When that happened, it seemed like maybe you know, Matthew was going to go on a singles run and he, he has the ability to do that, like you know, he's yeah. still pretty young, like but they seem to have gelled even better since that happened, since that incident happened. Like so, I think they're, you know, in the country. Like they at the minute, right? They're they're the best tag team in the country at the minute. Yeah. But I, last year, I think outside of the Saviors, like they had the best year. Liz, are we gonna have another domestic here, or are you siding with Jerry with this the social league? I'm split with two. Um, this was a tough decision. Um, social elite you know that I'm their biggest cheerleader. I love it. I love everything about it. And uh, so they're right up there. And my other team, who I do think came on leaps and bounds in 2023, um, is uh, BDE. I think yeah. they did come on leaps and bounds in 2023. Um, it took a lot of work to get them there as well. Do you know how to figure out how to move forward? But um, it's it's great to see them around the country. It really, really is, you know, and uh, debuting in other promotions as well, because it just strengthens their chemistry and fluidity as a tag team, you know, to, the, to get that experience um around the country and what a bit of luck beyond. So uh, it's kind of split between the two of them. I'd be super happy if either of them won. A shout out to Step Hermanos, I suppose, because they've had quite a 2023 as well. But, you know, me now and work ethic, I'm saying nothing. Foxy, who'd you fancy? Uh, in when I voted, I actually went with BDE because I thought this is because, like Jerry talked about, like the social elite, and unfortunately, like their their ascendancy 
only started really like just before 2024. So where they are now is like on a different level. But mm -hmm. in terms of 2023, BDE are the ones that I found to have been the most improved in terms of like, right, there's something, they have a great presentation, but you can tell that they're still trying to find their their synergy and actually like be very fluid in as a tag team together. Mm -hmm. But my God, do they complement each other so well? Yeah. Like, like you have you have the veteran in mm -hmm. Nikki, but then you have like I want I don't want to say rookie, like but like it, like like Bear Sweet Josh has come on leaps and bounds in terms of being able to show his personality more and also his wrestling skill has improved as well. So the two of them have and let's not forget, like they they have JB as well with them as their hype man slash toward man. And it's just amazing to see even the video segments that they put out as well. But I would also be remiss if I didn't talk about the likes of like the Step Romanos being like it, coming on leaps and bounds in such a short space of time. They're starting to appear in different shows here and there. Like they're training them wherever they can. Like, so it's amazing to see like the progress that they've made. Uh, Lost Muppadoras and Fresh Naz. The two boys are just insanely talented. Like, yeah. uh, I, 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 I can see them just being snatched up at some point. Like, mm -hmm. it just, and if they're not, I don't know what's going on because, like, mm -hmm. again, these are two lads that are so versatile that they can be put as bad guys, good guys, but like in betweeners, but they can be solo acts themselves in their own right. But as a tag team, they like that's not put on, like, that's them 24 7. Like that's how they behave, like mm -hmm. backstage. So, again, like it just, like the gals, again, bit different iterations throughout the year. Like, uh, where that goes, I don't know, but still, I like the idea of the the faction where like it can members can come and go, but still a uh, common purpose, so to speak. Um, Saviors of Destiny, they've been around a while, and as much as I like the the boys, I think the act has uh, lasted a bit longer than it should. Like, I think they need to freshen up and change things up. Um, which, uh, like, I do kind of hate saying, but at the same time, like, I think it's needed. They need to start figuring out something new. For If they want to continue, they need to evolve. Mm -hmm. And you can't just rely on the same act for, geez, how many years now they're doing it? Five, six, which is a long time. So, yeah. but yeah, again, sorry, I went through every single one of them, but like still. Yeah, listen, it's a tough, it's a tough category for me. I, I was, I was pretty much in the same boat as me as tossing up between BDE and social elite. Um, and it was basically a, a coin toss. And I think I, I voted for the social elite in the end, but I was really close to voting for BDE. Um, I love it. A, a, someone who's been around a long time that isn't necessarily heralded or getting their flowers essentially. And I can definitely see that in Sean Max Guinness and the fabulous Nikki. And I think the teams that they're both now in is a revitalization for the two of them and is showing them in, in a newer light. And uh, hopefully people do start appreciating how, how good they actually are. But um, yeah, for me, I plumbed for the social elite. But uh, without further ado, I'll roll on to the results. Uh, absolute honour to be asked here to um, announce the winner of the 2023 whoa, whoa, version. Whoa, 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 whoa. Honour is on oh, ours. Max, <laughs> I need, Max, they asked me to do a job. I need to... Boop. We I need asked to you to do a job. Yeah, it's, I'm going to politely ask you to fuck off. Come on. On your way. Sorry, okay, thank on you. On your way. You're looking at the winners. Anyway, oh, welcome to the Irish Wrestling Awards for 2023. Oh, really anyway, without further ado, Irish Wrestling Tag Team of the Year for 2023. Who else would it be but the Social Elite?
Turn that fucking camera off. Turn this off. Ready? Turn that off. Oh, uh, brilliant. I wish I had a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> Just whoa, 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 whoa. kitchen roll. Haven't done my shopping yet. Such, Amazing. Such a toy category. Oh, like, and that's, whoa, I think that just shows like how how lucky we are at the moment to have so many good tag teams around. Um, but yeah, like all nominees there should be quite proud of, of getting that nomination and fair play to BDE again. Um, Fantastic. Sweet. Delighted for them. Bittersweet. Well deserved. Bittersweet. Way. <laughs> Tag team of the year. As if there was any other choice but B D E. Because in less than one year, we have dominated the Irish team. There's genuinely no other choice. So obviously, we will take this. We will probably forget about it considering the source. <laughs> but at least you made a logical decision. Well done, Ireland. It's about time. Oh, and by the way, I was nominated for Breakout Star of the Year, but I'm no fucking rookie anymore. So that's why we're the top tag team. That's right. So I'll finish this off, guys. Just a, a special thank you list to a couple of you. Just bear with me. First off, I'd like to start off humbly and thank Bittersweet Josh. Because without Josh, this wouldn't be possible. Second on the list, I am going to thank our man JB. Because without JB, JB, this would not be possible. And then Thornton finally on the list. I'm gonna take me. Yeah. Without me, it wouldn't be BDE. Yeah. Fuck off. Tag team of the year is B D E. That's only one repeat winner that we have, I think, so far, which is I'm actually a bit surprised with because usually yeah. like people will vote for the same people year on year, or I expect it. Yeah. But um, we only have the one. So our next one. Um, our next category breakout star of the year we've done away with a couple of awards we did have a most improved and a rookie I don't think rookie was probably the right term to use essentially um, not if you ask Renzo Jesus he wasn't happy was he for all the awards and award that you can give to me you gifted me the worst possible because that's disrespect. That's a shame on myself and on the fans and on my career. Because I was 2022 Irish wrestling best rookie. Rookie. Five years of career. Italy, Europe, Canada doesn't mean anything to you anymore. Um, <laughs> Rookie! <laughs> but I think Breakout Star has more of a more of a ring to it. We kind of combined the two as a most improved and a, and a, and a rookie and kind of did it as that. And as well, as well, we didn't have as many first-year people last year where we did the year before. It was really hot the year before of a lot of people just starting their wrestling careers. Last year, we didn't have as many only starting. So I, I think we were a bit short on that. So I think to combine them into the two, but one of the people who is a firm advocate for these kind of people, and it's why I actually asked you to present this, Liz, is because you've always been a firm advocate for these guys, yeah. um, these breakout stars, these guys who are only making their name on the scene. So I'll hand over to you to uh, to present this uh the nominees and the results excellent and i'm only delighted to and yeah absolutely um you know our talent of today are the stars of tomorrow you know and anything we can do to support them is just um so beneficial to those who are watching them and uh, those who they interact with and as well always get such a nice warm feeling and not that this is a job but such great job satisfaction when you watch them grow and flourish and develop and it's just it's such a nice uh, feeling when you see it and this is a phenomenal category everybody here is worthy of winning this for 2023 there is absolutely no doubt starting off with herself av Anita Vaughan, most definitely, absolutely. I'll save my opinion for that in a second. Uh, fresh off his Tag Team of the Year win, Bittersweet Josh. 
fantastic. Boots! Murphy is also in the running for this, as is Kian Gallicini. Delighted because anywhere, anything I open up, I see Kian Gallicini. He's everywhere. Any, any, anything I look at, or like he's everywhere. Absolutely. If he's not helping out, he's in the ring. If he's not in the ring, he's training. If he's not training, he's talking and learning. So good for him. The sculpted one, Kian Noonan. What a 2023 he's had. And such a beautiful attitude he has. He really, really does. You can just, his eyes come alive when he talks about the sport. It's fantastic. Straight out of Compton is Jay Steins. What about it? Our resident gangster here on the Emerald Damn Isle. Right. I'm telling you now, right? Another guy that people sometimes may forget about is Limo. I think Limo's had a bit of a, a bit of a definite breakthrough in 2023. Um... And it's so refreshing to see because everything is there. But then when you see this new reinvigorated, re-energized version of it, you can't help but cheer. You just cannot help but cheer and support. Um, and that's a talent in itself. Not easy to go back to the drawing board. Very, very difficult to, to, be, to maybe feel a little humbled. But to come back bigger, stronger than ever and more passionate and determined, you can do nothing but admire that. And of course, we have the Sam. the Sam, of course, had a fantastic 2023 as well and was very, very popular with audiences up and down the country um, and was probably taken aback with it as well, which is really, really nice to see. Anybody could win this. Absolutely anybody could win this, which is just such a nod to um, the up and coming stars we have in Ireland in the wrestling scene. Without I, further ado, I'm so I, excited. Sorry, what I loved about this category as well is that it just shows the future, doesn't it? Like, oh I'm my so god, excited. the guys had a great 2023, and I'm just so excited to see what all them guys and the others who maybe didn't make it into the, the voting stage are going to do in the future years. Yeah. And it just shows that the future is bright, yeah. Oh, and it's in absolutely. safe hands, absolutely. It's an absolute safe you hands. See people it? like LJ, you know, leaving for Japan, and you know, Sammy maybe going elsewhere or anybody else mm. you know might be going See? in a couple of years time this is the building blocks that's it yeah. we have we have them going but we have a bittersweet josh and an yeah. Vaughan yeah. And, Kane and ready to step in and take how many of them are going to be you know saying this in a couple of years time. and when you see yeah. things like that yeah. happening and if you're a breakout nominee how can you not feel inspired encouraged motivated and just so full of get up and go mm. it makes you that bit hungrier for what your future could be so yeah i mean amazing unbelievable oh wait till you hear the results of this you're gonna die under the pudding rain of this shitty country ireland me renzo rose is gonna present the winner of 2023 breakout star so the winner is, I cannot believe it, fuck off. I mean, like, about, like, I mean, 2023 for the same. I think, yes, there was absolutely a rocket up his arse. But I don't even think he realised. I think it came out of his mouth and carried on and he held on for life. Because to be fair to him, it all happened so quick. And all of a sudden, like he was Rosanna Davidson, like when she won Miss World, she was the nation sweetheart, like. Mm -hmm. And now the same is the nation sweetheart. It's actually unbelievable. But how can you not be happy for someone who's so humbled with what happened um, in 2023 for him? It just goes to show like, and not to say that everyone else isn't the same in this category, but mm. this guy has worked his arse off. Yeah. Like, he really has, like, and there's a reason why his, uh, the stuff that you see online for the same is tip top. It's because yep. he takes the time and the effort and puts it in. And it's not just a fuzzy phone recording. It's, shot and shot and shot probably 10 times till he gets the right shots and it's put together well and it's it, it's whole package his whole presentation and for a guy who actually hasn't said a word 
as well, you know, to get that across is exceptional. And I'm this was my banker going into these awards. This was my pick. This was the one that I was saying, fair play to everybody else. Thanks for coming. But there's only one winner, and that's the same in this one. And I I I said to someone just before I opened the vote and I said the same is gonna win breakout star. I said, watch this space. I says that's the absolute banker. I says there's a lot of others that are up for the bay. This is the same's and I think it's it's so so deserving. <laughs> I mean, how do you know when you've made it? When people come up to you and say, where's your merch? We want your merch. And you're like, absolutely gobsmacked that people want merch of you. That's yeah. how you know you made it. When you can't print it fast enough for people who are looking for it. And just big love, absolute big love for that. He's a star. Yeah. Do you know, the one thing that actually kills me about the same is how he doesn't, I don't even think he realises how uh, well renowned and adored he actually is and I I can't wait for the moment where he actually that kind of penny drops I think he understands like he knows people love him and stuff but I don't think he grasps how everybody loves him and how everyone speaks so well of him and I, I just wish that he knew that as well and felt it like as as we see it, you know, because I don't think he, he's seen it properly yet. And um yeah, I just I he's just a, a, a superstar and he's lovely and he's adored by everyone and I'm just so happy for him. And this is like to me, this is the most deserving out of wow. any of those awards. This is the the one for me, like yeah. Like you said, he, Adorable. he works hard. He he works hard to get there, like so. He works mm. hard, Jerry, with a fucking segue. Because our next award. Oh my is word. Oh my word. Our hardest working wrestler of the year award. Um, how we kind of describe this one is not necessarily based on results or in ring ability, but people who seem to be the hardest worker inside, outside the ring, that they, they always put in a graft, they're always noticeable. And pretty much exactly what I said about the, what the same does. Um and spoiler before I throw over to Jerry for this one, but the same is nominated Chuck Horror. Um but yeah it is those type of people who just put in the absolute graft. They always put in a shift regardless of if they're on the winning end or the losing end or whatever. But uh, Jerry, I'll throw it over to you. To uh, agree, to I agree there. Like, nowadays, wrestling, you, you have to have a social media presence as well mm -hmm. as and mm -hmm. work and everything else that goes in between. So you have to be able to sell yourself online. You know, if people are, aren't seeing your promos on VODs or YouTube, you know, if you haven't got a social media presence, you have to put in the graft yourself. You can't expect somebody else to sit back and do it for you or just take a picture of yourself and put a fucking you know, a filter on and just, you know, write some sort of weird hashtag and expect people to get behind you. You have to graft and graft and graft. So it is hard work, but it'll be worth it when people start, you know, like you said, but the same the prime example, like doesn't say a word. His online presence is probably 50% of why people love him. Mm -hmm. His in-ring work is brilliant. You know, he, he gets beaten a lot of matches. Like he loses it doesn't have to win every match for people to get behind him. People love him. They love his ring presence. He's so interactive with the fans, you know, during the, the mid midterm or midterm halftime intervals or after shows and stuff like that. And still doesn't say a word, you know, taking pictures with fans. People adore him. It's the same with everybody else on this list. So you have to be a standout performer in the ring and outside the ring. So you have to work hard. So this list is a massive list and everybody on this list, you know, I can't think of anybody who doesn't graft as much as the same. So be cool. You know, we know how good he, he is with his online stuff. Everything he does is fucking hilarious. He didn't have to, he didn't have to set foot in the ring and people are behind him. 
Butch Armstrong had a fucking hell of a year in 2023. He completely changed up yeah. everything he done. Like, you know, he was, I know he still does the Beard of Beauties and RCW and he still does some, some of the comedy stuff with, with Fight Factory. But to be, you know, completely change his character in Hard Knocks to be, you know, a, a heel for, for a show and completely do, you know, everything he did, you know, the fucking stuff that you did with him and Terry in that interview, like you, you know, completely stood out for that. CBL, again, somebody else, like some of his online stuff is ridiculous. Like, you know, trying to get over the, the chains. I think that was like the end of last year. He was climbing over the fence. trying to. Oh get my God, hard. that was hilarious. It's brilliant. And again, stuff he does himself. Debbie Keitel, no words can explain the stuff that she does, you know. Yeah. Fabio, again, somebody who's just, as Foxy said earlier, like he is Fabio, he is himself outside the ring and everything he does. Jay Stein's gangland is fucking for life. Like there's nobody in the country who could pull that off other than him. <laughs> uh Danny Cross, Jay, again, somebody yep. else like, last year who completely changed up everything he done. You know, this whole character between Jay and Danny Cross is there's Jay dead, is it Danny Cross? Like it's got everybody talking about him. He's you know, he's done he's been the workhorse for the fucking the draw for the whole year. He's put him his body through everything again. He hasn't had to win all his matches to stand out, but he has worked his fucking ass off to be there. Uh, Omari, you know, he held that title for a long time. Sammy took it off him, but, you know, completely again, somebody else who changed up everything, left the singles, went on the tag team with, with Scotty Davis and, com- you know, completely different character altogether. Renzo, another person who is not going to be long for these shores, the, the work he puts in. You know, we when it was only recently we spoke to him about him changing up and he's getting he's putting on a lot more mass like but uh, as a character outside of the ring, his his character work is social um, media game is after up. stepping up massively. Ridiculous, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sammy D, you know, you don't have to say anything about Sammy. We know how good Sammy is. Steve Savage, you know, outside of what he does behind the scenes of hard knocks, he don't he does a lot for everybody else as well. So hard work can be just about him but he has put on a lot of hard work for the rest of the people in Hard Knocks mm-hmm. and outside of it and the same we've already talked about him so you know it's a great list of you know some of the hard work 13 nominees ridiculous that, 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 just what, shows what a show how, that just shows how close the nominees were it was actually hard to to even bring this down because so many of those guys got multiple nominations mm-hmm. that it was one of them like you just can't like I like if someone's after getting five, six, seven nominations, you can't leave them off the list. Like you know, so, um, yeah, I think this is the the biggest nomination category. This one, or yeah, the next one. I'm not sure. It is big. I so think it's this one, but uh, that's the go- reason why. Yeah, like yeah. it's let people vote and let people fight it out for who they actually think is the hardest worker. But like, yeah, an exceptional, well, was, exceptional. Well, list. Like you said, it was it was a long list. It was a hard, probably hard list to to judge. Um, which is why the third spot. Actually, is a three-way tie. What with nine point one percent of the votes, Omari, Sammy D, and the Sim. Wow! Wow! Tied for third. That's a huge. Again, Sam. We know how good Sammy is. We know how good uh, Omari was, but for Sam to be tied third. Jeez. With those two, yeah, with those two in particular, yeah, like that's we said it about uh Santos a little earlier on to be mm. be toyed with Moxley and that defeat in itself, but the same to be mentioned in the same bracket as Omari and Sammy D is is for wow something special. That's yeah. amazing. Oh, delighted. Uh, in second place, uh, with twelve point one percent of the votes, someone uh I'm sure Foxy will be very happy. L J Cleary. Last year's winner, wow. LJ. Yeah, Curry. I was gonna say it was in the air last year's winner. Wow, Jesus, so we, have, so we have a new winner. But look, it's his own hardest, fault. He took off, so we can't be expected now. Like, come on, we have a new winner with 22.2% of the votes. That was my drum roll. I know, don't interfere with the microphone. 22.2% of the votes is uh, well, you can call him Danny Cross, we oh. call him Jay. <laughs> Hey, wrestler of the year! Congratulations! Yes, Yes. see, buying in paid off. 
He did not sell out. He bought in and it paid off. Unbelievable. Well deserved. Delighted. Yeah, that's, Boxing that's... outside of the people who work hard for, you know, in front of the fans, what the fans see at shows or online, like what's what's it like to work with Danny or Jake? Just easy. Like I, I'm like working with that like Jay, it, it's it's so incredibly easy. Like it, it's it shows how comfortable he is at what he can do. Um even being put in high stress uh high stakes matches like but still coming out being like yeah like i, I like that like or like i'm just a bit tired <laughs> i'm a bit tired but like um how was that was all right like it just shows you like he really cares about what he does he look he, he thinks about everything that he wants to do uh he tries to give it as much logic as possible while also not forgetting that right his athleticism is also what got him noticed as well so throwing out a few flashy stuff here and there um definitely like helps but in, in terms of like how hard they work like oh like the dude is constantly like in the gym keeping himself in great nick he's constantly working at the at the school to like get better he's been put in matches with some of the best in the world and like he comes out better for it but he's also working with some of the best here in the country anyway like you have the likes of Be Cool, Sammy D, that he can like just pick the brain of and actually learn from, like. So, but yeah, Danny Cross, like he, he works his ass off. Like again, I've I've no qualms. Like anyone on this list could have made the top spot. Absolutely, anyone could have made it onto the the top three. So, again, who's to say someone doesn't make it onto it next year? Like absolutely, because that's how good everyone on this list ca are. Like and they're definitely capable of being the top spot, so yeah. so winners all around. A winner is you. <laughs> but they all have lovely bottoms. <laughs> Can't say that. It gets cancelled. The Irish Wrestling Awards 2022. I was the most improved wrestler of the year, and I, I really scoffed at that because I knew I was always at that level. But now to win the hardest worker of the year. It's honestly incredibly humbling. I'm lost for words. The only thing I can say is that each and every fan that's ever came to OTT, you make us. I'm the Kingslayer. Who the fuck are you? The best fans in the world. We move on um, to our second, penultimate, second last um, category, which is the Outstanding Wrestler of the Year. Now, I'd be fair, I robbed this from Meltzer last year um, and decided to keep it this year. I think it's, there's a big difference between Wrestler of the Year and Outstanding Wrestler of the Year. Like Wrestler of the Year, you are the tippy top, you're the best of the best all around um, outstanding wrestler of the year we're looking at in ring ability um, we're not looking at like character or any of that other kind of charisma that kind of stuff that builds the, the overall uh, wrestler we're just looking at ability on this one and a stellar list so I'll run through the, the nominees quickly so um, we have Be Cool CBL Charlie Sterling Fabio Jay or Danny Cross, take your pick. Um, LJ Cleary, last year's winner. Um, Martin Stairs, Renzo Rose, Sammy D, Scotty Davis, Session Mott Martina, and Terry Thatcher. Imagine getting all of them on the same show. Like, imagine getting a card and, and putting them, just those names and building a show around them. Like, yep. Oh, absolutely, you could. Like that's like I'm looking at that list and I'm like, fuck me, that's it. That's that's a list of wrestlers. Like that's that's tippy top Irish wrestling right yeah. there. Like you mm -hmm. know. Um Absolutely. But yeah, like LJ Cleary last year's winner. You did say that he didn't win the hardest working wrestler because he fucked off, I think, were your words, Jerry. Um, I didn't say he fucked off. <laughs> 
I think you did. I don't so well. that. We, you we may need bitch. we may need a, a VAR review, but uh <gasps> can he retain here? Can he retain his outstanding wrestler of the year award? Like, does anyone else come close to LJ's ability? Yeah, he's not winning it. There's so many more in there. That's nothing against him. No, I come straight up with out the fucking mind. gate. Hmm. So sumo, but Hi, like. <laughs> Uh, I, but I just think that maybe in his absence, through no fault of his own, because let's see how he comes back. He's going to come back even bigger and better than when he went. Like, unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So, like, who's excited for that? God knows he could be here next year for it, you know. If he's here, Jesus, I'd say his feet won't touch the ground and he'll be off again, which is great. But in his absence, we needed a new MVP, didn't we? And everybody knew it. Everybody stepped up their game and we have witnessed some incredible moments in the ring this year mm-hmm. um, where there was a huge thought process that went into them, a lot of build, a lot of planning. Um, So there are some very, very strong contenders on that list. Yeah. Um, Because aside from the high flying, aside from the mad moves, there's also your synchronicity in the ring. There's also your your ring awareness. There's also, you know, the timing of um spots and things like that as well to be considered. So you are looking for a real all-around in-ring technician, aren't you? You know, which LJ is without a doubt. But um then you were gone. So we'll I think we're gonna have a new one. I do. So right, you came in hot. Who's your pick then? Who's your pick? If if LJ's not winning it. Whoa! Who 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 are you, who are you picking? Oh, that list good enough. When I'm waiting, I'm waiting on my list. Who was my pick? What are we on outstanding? Oh, I went with Sammy D. Sammy D. Good Sammy show. Sammy D was good my show. choice. Yeah, I, I, listen, and I, I don't. Just, I don't think there's a bad choice on this list. As we, there's not. Right no, there. like this no. is this is a strong strong yeah. list of wrestlers. Yeah, all very much capable of of being the outstanding wrestler of the year. Um, yeah. Jerry, who you got? Yeah, I had to be Sammy D, right? <gasps> do you go with Sammy too, no? Yeah, did yeah. you? I did. I think it's because you know the work he's done, not just with OTT but with uh, Hard Knocks. I know he hasn't done anything with Fight Factory or RCW, like, but mm. you know he's he's just got it. Like, he's just got you're invested in his matches, mm. regardless of if he's a heel or a face or he's you know, facing off against his friends or his enemies, like you, you just you're invested, and he, he can tell the story in the match like better than most people, and he's got one of the sweetest super kicks in the world, and he always cracks yeah. Foxy in the exact same spot. So. That's really why you voted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Foxy, are you in agreement? Um, again, look, we've said it already, like. It- this this whole list, there's not a bad choice in, in the bunch. Like, not at all. Like, everyone all brings something different to the table. And um, some people have different factors in, in it. Like, Sammy D has shown, like, yeah, he, consistently that, like, he is uh, one of the best in the country has to offer. Like, Session Mont Martina has shown that. And Boy has also proved that by traveling around as well, carrying the flag of Ireland. Mm-hmm. And put more eyes on the product as well in in the process. So like again, you have that that little factor as well. Sky Davis coming in and actually becoming a, a mercenary and just straight up murking people. Which again, unless you had a great dance partner, like that character would not have gotten across. So you had the likes of Terry Thatcher, who is the perfect opponent to convey that message. But not only that. Terry Thatcher is like one of the best in the country and just presents himself, can fight for as the underdog, but somehow, no matter what, like will have you behind him. Yeah. It just it, it again, like I, I like personally my pick was Terry Thatcher because I do believe that he has shown especially in 2023, he has shown that like he can work with anyone and make them look a lot better. Or, uh, or just elevate them in the right way, 
Like, I mean, he's done amazing work in OTT. He's shown amazing work in Hard Knocks. He's shown great work in Fight Factory as well. Like, so, like, there's someone who's appeared on all, like, so, some of the major promotions in the country and with anyone that he's worked with has come out better because of it. So, my my pick was Terry Thatcher. And he's coming to RCW as well. Good Friday, isn't he? There you yeah. go. You know, wow. Looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, yeah Thatcher, Robbie, great, great great Robbie, show, Yeah, Robbie X and Leighton Buzzard. The thing about Thatcher as well, and uh, I, I don't know if it's just that he's humble, but everything that you said, Foxy, does, like, I don't think he realises how good he actually is. Mm. But I don't think he really believes, like we believe, how good he actually is, but he continues to go out there and do better and better things and he's like we're looking at him going he's so fucking brilliant but mm -hmm. like when you're talking to him it's it's like he doesn't see it yeah. you know which again is, is good because he's always going to try to push himself as well to, to keep up to that demand and you see that with a lot of people we're our um, own worst critics yeah like, we are our own worst yeah. critics so like we'll nitpick to, to hell like, and again, even if it's something that people really like, you'll still find something, ah, but that was wrong. Like, or this, uh, like, I could have done this a bit better. Like, yeah. again, like everyone is like that. It, it just, but like what you said, he comes back and he, he tries to improve upon that by like giving of himself. Mm -hmm. uh, like he's selfless in regards to giving to his opponents, making them look a lot better. Or, um, as I've said on previous like shows before, like he is the best mind for psychology in the country. Like he just knows where and when to use something. But not only that, to utilize their move set and find the best spot to use it to maximize their effect and get them over. Like he knows how to put people over in the right way. And again, I, I just want to see, uh. I would like to see him get more rec recognition for that. So. Absolutely, but he has a lot, a lot of stiff competition in this category. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, we'll move on to the results. Folks, this is Logan Bryce. It is my honour to announce the Outstanding Wrestler of the Year for the Irish Wrestling Awards 2023. Highly anticipated, and it's a good one. Your winner is the King Slayer, Jay. Well done. Well yay. done. Oh, yay. Oh, brilliant. Big yeah, tune. Another one of them who I'm so, so happy for to be recognised in a category like this with some exceptional, exceptional wrestlers. And I think he had a phenomenal 2023. Everything about in ring. I don't think there was a match that I watched of Jay's where I was like, Nah. you know yeah. every time he left the ring I was like get the fuck in there fair fucking play to you you know and um, he, he continues to push himself and he continues to drive and strive to, to be better every single time so I, I was really happy to see Jay getting his, his props here and 23.2% of you who voted wow. agreed Right. Wow. Um, oh, that's made my heart full now. I I actually expected I, I voted for Jay. I actually expected it to be a Samuel J toss up personally. Mm. Um I didn't think anyone would would beat those two. Um so I'm just I was I was really happy to see that a lot of other people thought what I thought as well. So I I was pleasantly surprised when I saw the when I saw the results and I hope all of you are too. Um, yeah, fair, fair play, right. hey, Danny Cross. Brilliant. Oh. well deserved. And he'll be thrilled. He's yeah, thrilled. absolutely, absolutely. Anyway, it's different when it's like you know it's different when you you know like did I have a good match? Was that any good? And you know you're you're critiquing yourself and you're yeah. like studying it and you're prepping and things like that. But when it's people who you're entertaining that are coming to see you saying like 23 plus percent of us think that you are the best in this country 
is like, I mean, God, like uh, my heart could burst for him. I'm so chuffed. Irish Wrestling Awards 2023, Outstanding Wrestler of the Year. It, it feels disingenuous to take this by myself because it, I'm elevated by the, the talent that's in the ring, the talent of OTT. I've never once stepped into an OTT ring and never felt like I was in there with the best. So to everybody who stepped through them ropes, stood in the middle of that ring and said only the best, thank you. Thank you for bringing me to a level that I never thought I'd get at. I'm the King Slayer. Last year I was most improved. This year I'm outstanding. And next year, who knows? But I'll see you there. We're on to the big one. Yeah. And uh, um, yeah, wrestler of the year. Obviously the big one, the all round best wrestler in Ireland, 2023. Who the fuck was it? And um, we've all been waiting to know. I'm, I'm the only one who knows. Sorry, the winner knows as well, actually, because I was talking to them about it. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we're the only two, unless he told anybody, but still. Um, oh, shit, it's a he. Bollocks. Um, edit that. Oh, no, I didn't give that away either, did I, with the edit that bit? Or am I just trolling this? You're editing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will uh, pass over to the Rush household. Let's see, can you can you present this together? Can we can we get it? Can we get it, Jewe? Presentation, oh, I wonder. Yeah, I mean um, you. Is he? Oh, oh, do you edit this? Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ebony and Ivory, like one. Ebony and Ivory. Yeah, you're all big fan that I'm white as gold. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> you like me. I'm like a fucking ghost. I'm nearly transparent. <laughs> Nobody. I'm whiter than Seamus. Go away now. Go away now. I tell you this much, mate. You'll Look, be white. I, I, asked, I, I knew that this was going to happen. I asked them to present an award together nicely as a couple, nice married couple. And what do we get? Straight away, a domestic kicks off. You know, the house married like you to the year. That's what you get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking oh, hell, the cheek, you. Anyway, it's a natural We'll add, we'll add us in for, uh, I'll make sure that add us in for next year's field of the year. But... I oh, think uh, you should. Go can start this prick out. Yes. Yeah, um, just, just, just for reference, oh, I sent... I suppose uh, I raise out of the question. <laughs> just for reference, I, I sent Liz <laughs> a, a list. <laughs> I sent Liz a list of the nominees here, but I haven't actually yeah. sent on the, the, the winners yet. Um, oh, yeah. Until we get okay. to no, you're not allowed. Look, stop copying me. Go away. The nominees. Mean... I have the nominees. Okay, Cheers. so run, run us, run us through wrestler of the year 2023 was. We will. Okay, right. We're, we're done now, aren't we, love? Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll nothing but love in the room now again. Cool. So wrestler of the year, the wrestler who has had the best 2023, and my God, there's been a few. Kicking it off with probably, I'd imagine, the best year of his career, to be honest, is Be Cool. He had an absolute stellar 2023 from um, his big return to a ridiculous match versus John Moxley. And now the situation that he is in is just amazing. Um, darling, next nominee. Next up was CBL all yeah. the way from Longford. Uh, well, a current uh, Irish junior heavyweight champion won the title, stood out in multiple promotions. Yeah, and uh, completely upped his game in hard knocks, uh, as well as obviously being the champion in Fight Factory. And we're hoping GM and RCW. Yeah, well, he's GM and RCW at the minute. Yeah, uh, hopefully he'll get some some time in an OTT in the future as well. So yeah, great year for CBL. Mm -hmm. Next nominee is our boy. Just our last award winner is uh, Danny Cross or Jay, whoever you'd like to uh, refer to him as, but huge contender for wrestler of the year. And now that we know that he is indeed the workhorse and um, the best in the country. Let's see if he can make Alfred it. Um, hat -trick. Would that be a hat trick then? Jeez, Alfred there'd be absolute yeah. eruptions in the draw dressing room. Eruptions. <laughs> Um, so yeah, oh, oh god, interesting to see what happens here, darling. Who's next? Speaking of eruptions, we've got Renzo Rose, Woo. former rookie of the year, now up for wrestler of the year. Um, hell of a year, topped it off, rookie. Be beating uh, Trent 
over in Italy for the NLW title. So uh, amazing year for him and even better things for, for 2024 expected. Mm. Our next nominee, and nominee, nominee. Oh, I'd love a tea. <laughs> Our next nominee in absentee is in, in absentee. Is that what we give it? In absentee. Spit it out, punk. I know you. Say it, David. Um, in absentee is uh, LJ Cleary. So yeah, he made the shortlist as well for wrestler of the year, which is just that's just stands to him really. That's just a credit to him and the impact um he has had on the Irish wrestling scene and of course the Irish wrestling universe. Mm-hmm. Next, uh, last year's winner, yeah, was he last year's winner? Yeah, he was Snake Sammy D, uh, topped it off, you know, winning the title, had a massive title run for the whole year, mm-hmm. well, for most of 2023. So, you know, what, what more can you say about the snake? Mm-hmm. Narrowly avoided St. Patrick, thank God. Narrowly, hey, <laughs> boom, boom, there we go. And finally, um, what can we say about our last nominee? Um, they're everywhere, all day, every day. They are traveling left, right and center, involved with multiple promotions and about to take on a huge trip across the pond as well to Philadelphia. It is the one and only Session Moth Martina. And rightly so. She should be nominated for this award because another absolute stellar worker had a great 2023, even carrying an injury, still managed to carry one of, oh, well, apparently the feud of the year as voted for, uh, voted for by all of you. So, oh, that is a chavo. tough list. Oh, Chavo, that is a tough list. Very, very, very tough list. Um, I couldn't call it. My pick was well, I voted for LJ Cleary. That's who I voted for. Did you? Um, yeah, I just think he he got so close last year. I think there was like was a one vote or two votes separating him and Sam last year. I think. Mm. So I think he got so close, and I think the t- the time that he was here, like let's let's not forget, like he 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 was here for the majority of twenty twenty three yeah, September. You know? Like yeah, like he was still here for the most of the year, like yeah. and he he had a great a great year. Like he won uh world championships and two promotions. Mm-hmm. Um like he he, he had four titles at one stage, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. And five golden tickets. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, so like he's he's just been he's been everywhere, like, and I just think he for me, he last year he was the epitome. I think Sammy had a stellar twenty twenty two. I think LJ, the time that he was here, I think n- nothing against Sammy, and I don't want this to come across the wrong way, but I think he got to the pinnacle in March when he won the championship, mm. and it's different when you're chasing compared to when you're there. Yeah, I'm mm. not saying that he took his foot off the gas or anything. I'm just think that his chase seemed to be more emphatic than what his his reign was when he got there, you know, where I think LJ was still kind of pushing every step of the way and it looked like he was in a lot more chases and maybe it was just a perception and it just felt to me that he was kind of going a bit above and beyond and that's why LJ was my pick, but... um. I do think that, yeah, anybody on that list, I'm just looking at the list again. Like it's it's an exceptional list of wrestlers. They're all great in their their own way, you know, and they all have a right to be named wrestler of the year, in my opinion. And I wouldn't be upset at any of them. But yeah, LJ was was for me. Foxy, you had who was your uh, pick? Um my pick was actually Renzo Rose. Um I just believe that he has improved drastically, uh, especially in 2023, uh, working with some of the best, best from around the world, mm. and picking up the the NLW title in his hometown, uh, while also picking up the nationwide championship by the end of uh, 2023, like which it like so he's a double champion, and let's not forget that. Um, but he's come on leaps and bounds in terms of like how he presents himself, how he carries himself. His he's improved his body, 
Uh, so I just thought Renzo Rose like definitely like has stepped up in the last year alone. Um, like this is a solid list. Like again, like you've mm. talked about the likes of Sammy D, LJ Clary, like Session Mount Martina, like again, CBL having a stellar year, B Cool having a stellar year, like uh great stories throughout, like but I I think Renzo Rose has been very consistent in that like he's he's still really, really re improving, but somehow he's still like Okay, he, he's kind of like the, the dark horse that's like, he's been very consistent while you're focused on up here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, you give him the chance, guaranteed he's going to fucking snap up. Like, so that's why I'm excited about 2024. I think he's going to like really take off like mm -hmm. and be a really big deal in Irish wrestling. Like more so than he is now. So Renzo Rose is my pick. Cool. Good shout. Without further ado, who's got the winners? Not me. I, I'm just about to press send, but I want to know who you guys have picked before I do, before you see the results. I want to Ooh, know who uh, uh, and Jerry and Liz have before. Uh, Sammy. I, I had Sammy D. Send. What did I have? You had Sammy D as well. But did... No, you didn't. You had Derlo. Oh, um, Biku. So one Sammy, one Renzo, one B, and one LJ. So we're all picking different people. Yeah. Here. Like, it, that's, it, it just go. show it just shows, doesn't it? Like how how like good this category is. Like, yeah. Um. So yeah, there is your results. Whenever you want to announce them. Don't leave us in suspense. Come on. She's re she's reacting before she... Sorry. Oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> so, so, the results stuff. Would you like to do... I'll let you do the honours. Okay, so... I'll do second. All right, lovely. Um, in third place, with 16.2% of the vote, is Be Cool. Which mm -hmm. is a good shout... And the reason I voted for Be Cool, could have voted for anyone, the, the reason I just wanted to advise, I looked at this as 2023. Yeah. yeah. No external factors, just 2023. Mm -hmm. And you can't deny that, like, he was right up there in 2023. And everything that went in his direction, he, you know, give him lemons, he'll make lemonade. You know, so um, that was the reason that I voted for him. One love, one. In what? second place with twenty seven point three percent of the vote. Oh. Twenty seven point three percent. LJ Cleary. Like wow, that's a high percentage of the vote. I don't yeah. even think the winner. Sure, I, don't think, I don't think two joking. years, two years in a row, he's he's been second. Rest Jesus. I don't even think. Sammy won last year with that much percent. I think it was like twenty or twenty. I'd have, I'd have to go back and look, but yeah, it mm. was. It that's was a massive tight. Amount. It was pretty tight. That's a that's that's over a quarter of the vote. That isn't yeah. isn't it? So without any further ado, our twenty twenty three wrestler of the year will be revealed after this break. I'm just joking. <laughs> This episode is. Oh, I was going for the EastEnders Black Cab. No, oh, that's okay. that's not a break. That's the end of the show. That's the end of, you know oh, what, Mama? After this, get out of my pod. <laughs> Sorry, I, I oh, can yes. literally, I can literally hear people screaming at their telly and their phones right now, saying it's "fucking hell." By... The <laughs> They're not. This episode, <laughs> by... this episode is brought to you by One Fall. Okay. <laughs> I will not be responsible for you delaying this. Say the fucking name. Where'd you ask? Sorry, lads. It's, it's, it's Foxy's Foxy's messages saying, don't forget my comment. Just skip. Yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. So, yes, our 2023 um, wrestler of the year here on the Irish shores. And your daddy is home. Sammy D with 29.3% of the vote. 
almost a third of the vote went to Samuel 33 Day. and a third. And... Oh, I said almost a third. You're going to start this shit now. Almost a third. Can we just celebrate Sammy's victory, please? Just doing Steiner Matt. Dave, come here. Two time. Player hit the game. All right. Two, Two time. time. Two time wrestler of the year. Unbelievable. Twenty nine point three percent of the vote. Congratulations to um to Sam. Thrilled, delighted. Um, deserve anyone on that list would have deserved this yeah. title. But um, what an achievement! That's fantastic. Super, super happy for him. Looking forward to seeing the direction twenty twenty four continues to go for him. Um, guys, what do you think? No, seriously, like anyone on that list could have gotten this. So, yeah. regardless, like. Like, if anything, like, if anyone wins, like, it's more the fans because, like, yep. like that list just proves, like, how stacked we are for talent. Like, that any of these people could have, like, taken the top spot. Any of them. Yeah. So, so yeah. the Irish wrestling fans are just incredibly lucky. Like, yeah. they're the winners. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sammy D here, uh, accepting the Wrestler of the Year 2023 award for the second year consecutively. Uh, no surprise, let's be honest. No, in all seriousness, a uh, hell of a year for me personally, professionally. Um, I'd like to thank all the Irish wrestling fans to come out to the shows, uh, show us the respect, uh, show the guys in the back the respect uh, by buying tickets and going to shows. We couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much. I'm honored to accept this award and let's go on and win it three years in a row. I'm delighted. Fair play, um, to Sam. Um, I I wasn't sure if if he was gonna win. As I said, like be like it's. I think it's harder to to be at the top than to get than yeah. to get to the top. Yeah. Like that's people always say that. Like it's it's easy to win and it's hard to stay there. You know. Um, the one thing that I will say from being around shows and seeing a little bit more, one of the things and that really makes Sammy D a champion is he always strives for perfection, whether it's a non-recorded, non-canon show with 100 people at it, mm. or it's the National Stadium with 2,500 people at it. He always wants to go out there and deliver the best possible performance, best possible match, whether he's on whatever end he's he's on, you know, or wherever on the card he is, he always strives to want to be the best. Mm -hmm. And I've seen him be annoyed for not for something small going wrong or something that didn't go perfectly to plan. And he's he's high as Foxy said earlier on, like people are their biggest critics. I've seen him be highly critical of something on a non-recorded, non-canon show where most people won't even see it and most people in the audience probably didn't even know about it yeah he's criticizing himself over it you know and yeah. that's that's shows that's that's a champion to me that's someone who always strives for perfection and um two-time champion well deserved um as we said anyone on that list could have won it but yeah congratulations sammy d yeah. brilliant well yeah, deserved the year. wow yeah so there we have it. That's Isn't that just mad? Big show. A lot of, a lot of interest and results in there. And yeah. um, I don't think, well, maybe there can be arguments if you want to argue about it. Send us your comments. <laughs> um, you know where we are. If they yeah. voted. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's that's the thing about these these uh, these awards. They're, they're voted by fans. Um, so if you didn't vote and you want to complain, go vote yourself. Because you should have voted. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I had people give out to me last year saying, oh, I didn't know where the votes were. I literally put like 20 tweets out and put this everywhere for like two months. So if you didn't see it, it's your own fault. Um, But yeah, thank you everybody for voting. Thank you to everyone for the nominees. Thank you to all the wrestlers and promotions and promoters for doing what you do. Enable us to be here and glorify you this this once a year um and and honor you in a way that hopefully hopefully we we did. Um and thanks guys for for being here. This was a long show. Um appreciate the time, appreciate the the thoughts and the the feedback and the opinions on everything and um 
yeah, that's a wrap for 2023. Um, yeah, loving it. it is. Yeah, that's it for twenty twenty three. I can't yeah. wait for next year's show. There's, oh no, my god, the, the first three, the first three months of twenty twenty four have been. Fucking I've I've up. already started taking notes. Like there's there's, literally, there's been there's been three shows already that I'm like I can't pick between them three as show of the year next year already, and we're only three months in. So um yeah, it's uh. 2024 is going to be something special. We're fucking shit hot right now. Like, it's this scene is ridiculous right now. So, yeah. Um, I love not being able to decide when it gets to the end of the year on who my pick is going to because that just shows how good of a year it was. Yep. You know, these votes shouldn't be easy. And I, I heard people, Claire, Claire, if you're watching, Claire was giving out to me, I can't pick. I don't know who to vote for. It's like, yeah, Claire, that just shows. How yeah. fucking good of a year it was, and um, hopefully the same again next year. But guys, thank you all yeah. very much again for voting. Guys, thanks for being here and sharing your thoughts as always. Um, but yeah, that was the Irish Wrestling Awards twenty twenty three.